IELTS writing tips and tricks. This is Asad Yaku. I'm going to give you IELTS writing tips. As you know, there are two types of IELTS, academic and general training. And uh, almost these two types of IELTS are same. There are slight differences. We have listening and listening is same for academic and general training. Speaking is almost same for academic and general training. Only writing is different. There are two tasks in writing. Task two is uh, same, but task one is different. So we are going to discuss both of them. If you are academic IELTS candidate, you can watch academics portion. If you are the gender training IELTS candidate, then you can watch the gender training portion and that is going to help you out. But let me tell you, it's almost 80, 80 to 90% same. There aren't uh, huge differences here. So first of all, I'm going to explain writing test. In writing test, task one, academic writing, there is report writing. For academic candidates, you have to write a report and this report is of 150 words and you have almost 20 minutes to write this report. Now, don't be afraid, the word report, what type of report do we have to write? There is no problem, it's going to be a very simple type of report you got to write over there. Then task one for general training candidates, that is letter writing and uh, they have to write a letter of 150 words and they almost have 20 minutes to write this task. So the only difference in writing between academic and gender training is that writing task one for academic is uh, report writing and writing task one for gender training is letter writing. And task two is essay writing for academic and gender training. You have to write an essay of at least 250 words and you have 40 minutes for that. You can even write more words if you want to up to 300 or 350 but be careful you will not be given marks as much as you write, okay? It's not that. If you say, I wrote 500 words, I'll be getting a very good bench score. Not at all. Writing more words will not give you any benefit, okay? But anyways, you can finish your essay in 270 words, 280 words, or maximum 300 words. And total writing task duration is one hour. One more thing. This time classification is according to the IELTS experts. I mean 20 minutes for task 1 and 40 minutes for task 2. This is according to the uh, IELTS experts. They say the candidates should spend 20 minutes on task 1 because task 1 contains one third of the total bench score and uh, the candidates should spend 40 minutes on task 2 because task 2 contains two third of the total bench score because it's uh, more valuable that's why you need to spend more time on that. Now I'm going to tell you the writing task criteria. I mean what you write, how you write, how should you write and then you might get a good bench score. I'm going to tell you the writing task criteria. First of all, you will be given the marks for task achievement. Task achievement means how thoroughly you do what is asked. So for example, if there's a topic, you cover all the topic, you write it accordingly, it means you achieve the task. Right? Second, coherence. Coherence means connection. Whatever you write, it should be connected. If you write words, they should be connected in the form of a sentence. If you write sentences, the sentences should be connected. And if you write paragraph, these paragraphs should be connected. Now you must be thinking, how should we connect? With a glue or gum or anything like that? Come on. You're not going to connect it like that. You are going to connect these ideas with the connecting words. For example, if I say, I have a cat. My cat is beautiful. Its color is white. My cat runs very fast. My cat comes with me wherever I go. Do you think there is any connection between what I'm saying? There is any coherence? Absolutely not. But instead of this, if I say, I have a cat and uh, my cat is black. It runs, it runs very fast and wherever I go, it comes along with me. Now see, I am connecting my ideas. So all you need to do for IELTS, this is called coherence. Coherence means connection. You got to connect. You got to connect your words in the form of a sentence. You got to connect your sentences in the form of a paragraph. And then there should be a proper connection of the paragraphs too. 
Second is cohesion. Cohesion means organization. You have to organize the whole essay, the whole report, or you have to organize the letter. Now, it means how connected and organized your letter is. Uh, what is organization here? The first thing first. We have a specific criteria for writing essay, report, and letter. So you need to follow that very criteria, the beginning, the middle, the ending, the body of the letter, the body of the report, and the body of the essay. So you got to follow that. This is basically called cohesion. The next point is lexical resources. Now, lexical resources means your vocabulary. You have to show the examiner that you have a good range of vocabulary. You know very good words of English vocabulary. Now, there is a warning, warning. It's not a good idea that you say, all right, for IELTS, I will cram all the dictionary and then I will fill my letter, report, or essay with difficult words. Let me tell you, only the words will not help you. You should know how to use the words. And by the way, if you want to improve your English vocabulary, the best way is EMS. Do you know what is EMS? All right, I'll tell you about that later. But for now, the number which is appearing on your screen, just send your name and your city, and we will add you to our English message service, and we will send you English vocabulary words. All right, are you going to join me? Mm-hmm, great.